Chat, this is the first time I pull out my spark plugs ever since the tune. Can you tell me what you can tell about my tune based on the plug condition? Thanks for sharing the photo. That's a solid looking spark plug and you're smart to read it after tuning. Here's a breakdown of what I can tell from it. What the spark plug is telling us. One, color, dry medium, tan, brown. That tan or coffee brown color on the ceramic insulator and base ring is ideal. It shows you're running very close to optimal air fuel ratio under normal conditions. Not too rich, not too lean. This plug looks like it's been running on a healthy, well-balanced tune. Two, no oil or fuel fouling. The plug is dry, no wetness, oil sheen, or soot, which means rings are sealing well, no oil blow by, fuel is burning completely, injector spray pattern and timing are on point. Three, no signs of detonation. The ground strap and center electrode show no signs of melting, speckling, or erosion. If detonation knock were occurring, you'd often see tiny aluminum specks from piston damage, chipped insulator, burned edges of the strap. You do not have those signs, which suggests your ignition timing and knock control are safe, at least in the conditions this plug was pulled under. Half four, heat range and load. The ground strap coloring stops about halfway back from the tip. This shows the heat range is appropriate. It's not too hot, tip all white, or too cold, tip totally dark and sooty. This means your pl plug heat range suits your combustion temps and your tune isn't pushing excessive heat into the chamber. What this suggests about your tune, your tune is very safe and balanced. You're not running lean or rich under the driving load conditions this plug saw. No knock and no oiling or fuel wash. Great combustion efficiency. Hash what you can do next. If this was a plug after daily driving, it shows the cruise and part throttle tune is healthy. If this was pulled after a watt pull and shut off, it's showing that the high load tune is spot on. You can check the strap timing mark under magnification to fine tune ignition advance if you're chasing max performance. If you'd like, you can tell me what brand and heat range the plug is, whether this was from normal driving or a WOT pull, what AFR you're targeting at WOT Cruise. And I can go a bit deeper into the reading with that context. Get her. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. Steven, está aquí hoy. Steve, sí. Hello. Buen día, mamá. No motorcycle today, no dirt bike. No, I um. Last time I was here, I didn't know how to tune. Right mm -hmm. now, I know a lot. Yeah. yeah, in a short amount of time, but using Chat GPT. Yo, yeah. Dude, yeah. these wheels are sick. The slipstream Damn. just. It's a must. Oops, wait, that's the gas. Dude, this thing is beautiful. Appreciate it. Although it hasn't even been started, you know? Oh, I love taggies. I love some taggies.
So that's the uh, 2014, 24A2. The highest output you got, non-turbo. Damn. I've done so much work, but you, you just can't see it. <laughs> you know, you don't you don't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing's not. Know it. Yeah, nothing's gonna look like anything was done until it's done. <laughs> I, like the, I like the front end too, with the two headlights. Yeah, I much prefer it than the uh, square one JDM ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I prefer these. But right, I think the '95 bumper looks a little bit nicer. It has more of an opening. Oh, okay. I um, like it though. It's beautiful. I'm gonna explore my options. No more central. Nah. The kid still got it. Yeah. He, yeah, he's not a mechanic of any sort. He thought he thought he was gonna be able to like mess with it or whatever. He's like, hey, it's exactly the way you gave it to me. You know, he's like, I just drive it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I just drive it around the block or whatever. Oh, dude, um, dude. Cause the thing is, um, the car was already six years old. When I bought it from yeah. the guy that built it, he'd been beating it for six years and I had it for seven years. Damn. So if you ask me, that's Shit. a long life for a 400 horsepower, you yeah, know? That is. That's a long time, man. Especially for a four cylinder? And it don't, it don't leak a drop of oil cause I went through everything. I, I basically rebuilt it without taking the heads off. I did. Dude, I remember, so I remember like well, looking at Christine. Yeah. Really good. Little rust back here. There's a surface rust. Yeah, there's a big hole there. Oh, yeah, is that, is <laughs> yeah. that why there's bags there? Yeah, I put a plastic. This car, it was leaking. Damn, man. I think I, it was like about 12 water leaks by the time it stopped leaking water. <laughs> water was coming in from everywhere. Water was even getting in. You know, like after a while when the paint surface gets a little old in the, in the jams, because the jams don't got that much clear. Yeah. You see the little bit of rust around the well. Once that happens, it hits the metal, it's already dripping from the other side. Yeah, yeah. So there's areas where it's not a lot, but you know, you look inside and where you see these, um, the wells that got a little bit of a rust on them. Yeah. You look underneath inside and it's got a little bit of rust as well. So that's mm -hmm. how you already know water passes. Dope, though. Yeah, man, but there was a lot of stuff the guy didn't tell me, a lot of surprises, but even if he would have had told me, I would have still bought it. I would have just negotiated, you know? Oh, yeah, of course. I love it. Hey, dude. But this is this is as good as it's going to get, man. To this day, they, they don't, they'll pay top dollar for this. So. This one gets compliments all the time bro just I non bet. non stop break necks all the yeah. time too <laughs> when i had when i had the nissan it was flashy it was drawing a lot of attention but i didn't get compliments people hated it yeah they hated it because i guess because it wasn't a very car to do I that too i guess you know i painted graphics on it it was um white 
metallic blue and like a bright orange. Yeah. And it was loud and it had the whole turbo, you know? Okay, nah, this is definitely, you know? I this is say, more relatable. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> People yeah. see this, they if they didn't have one, they went to school with somebody they, that, that did. And they always wanted one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I fun. wanted one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I wanted one. I always the EK hatchbacks too. When I was in um in high school, I was going to Sheridan Votes for auto body and paint. Yeah. And um one of the kids I was going to, he didn't even go to my school, but he would drop me off and he had a green one, oh. which was a GSR. Yes. We had this um, Chinese kid named with Tom Tom, and you know these people, they come from money, right? Oh, okay. And um, his parents bought him because he had good grades, so they bought him a, a hatchback. I think it was an EG is what they want. Okay. And it had the um, the B16, the VTEC one in there. Oh, shit. Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. wanted a race. He goes, yeah, but mine's B20, B is GSR. He goes, yeah, but I got the VTEC. You don't know about that VTEC, man. That and we cool. came and we raced, and we were head to head to head, but... He just took it. The B16 and the EJ, he just took it. My VTEC was a flex. Y'all got VTEC. And that was before tuning and any of that. Yeah. Um, Sheridan Street going all the way down before before you get to um, like the old movie theater area, which is actually oh. on top. But um, there's a bridge. Anyway, there's a bridge where it passes the canal. Movie go? Or yeah, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's this bridge and we were doing 90 uh -huh. and nobody let off the gas and they were still going. And we got to the top of that bridge. We caught just a little bit of air. The tire's like, Fast and furious shit over here, guys. But ever since then, I was like, damn, I was like, I want one of these. And how long did it take? 20, 20 something years? Hey, it doesn't matter how long it took, but they did it. Yeah, I don't know. You're a lot. Car purchase. There's like some, uh, oh no, color sample. Yeah, yeah, somebody about it. My broken bumper. So yeah, um, it does need some loving. It does need some loving. Yeah. You know, but besides that, it's, it looks great. It's it's all original. It's yeah. never been hit. There's no body work. This is the original paint job. It's wow. all original. The only thing that the only thing that's got body work is this, and it's a little lumpy, you know. But yeah. Um, besides besides yeah. the rust holes like that, I want to get a new rear glass in the front because at night there's like this nasty glare, and if I'm trying to do content, oh. May as well do content about bad glass, man. <laughs> Damn, I, I wonder how much the rear glass would be. I feel like it's, a, it's not a very common glass. <laughs> well, if it's OEM, it's probably going to be just as bad a condition. I mean, people can ask over a thousand dollars for Damn. either one. But that's if it's crazy. if it's aftermarket, I can probably get them replaced. The is that the, oh no, it's not the car. Oh, that's the extra battery. Yeah, no, it's the battery. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got the. <laughs> but um, once I get everything sorted, because I'm I'm still tuning and making all kinds of oh, maps yeah, and messing sure, with it. Sure, yeah. But once once it's all squared up, you know, I even got the upholstery. This right here. Yeah. I got the same material for the headliner and the doors that's and stuff funny. like that. Amazing. And I got a purple carpet that I found from oh. um, stockinteriors.com. The name, you know what the name of the carpet is? 1998, purple, and this is 98. <laughs> it's like they knew, brother. It matches, it matches the seatbelt to it, so. Yeah, this is dope. It's gonna be nice when it's done, man. Definitely. Oh, I told you, I'm doing the HKS livery on the outside. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. I'm going HKS all the way, inside and out, everywhere. Yeah, so, you're have to spend some money though. Hopefully, like, <laughs> like if this is my year, I can get it into Primer this year. If this is my year, um, especially with how prices are doing right now, tariffs. Oh my oh, god, thank so god I can for myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Uh, uh, I'm gonna head back inside. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm cooking, good. man. Hey, appreciate you bringing <laughs> this by, man. Beautiful, no problem. Car, man. Appreciate it. Okay, have a good one, all right? Thanks, hey, you too. Hey.